Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Joss, and if you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place, and I hope you consider subscribing. I am so excited because I've got kind of a different video for you today. So I am on TikTok, and I would love to have you follow me there. I am really having fun on TikTok. It's 95% perfume content. I do a little bit of skincare and makeup, but it's mostly perfume content on TikTok. And they have some new features, which I'm super excited about. One is they have three minute video options now. Used to be the longest video you could do on TikTok was one minute. So they've changed that to three minutes. So that gives me a lot more time to do an actual perfume review. Uh, not a super in-depth one, but a little more than a minute. So I'm really excited about that. And then they also added captions, which is also really cool. I typically post my TikToks on my Instagram stories, but Instagram stories has a two minute limit. So I can't post a whole three minute TikTok on Instagram stories, but I can give you a sneak preview. Anyway, so I've created this compilation of TikToks that I've created over the last month or so. And I really hope you enjoy this. And again, I really hope you will join me over on TikTok. You just need to download the app, create an account, and then you can watch my TikToks as well as lots of other really great content creators. So thank you so much for being here. I will put timestamps down below if you want to skip to a certain TikTok. Thank you. I randomly selected Sesame Chan from one of my favorite niche houses, Anima Vinci. And this came out in 2019. It's from the nose of Sophie Love, and it has notes of ginger, hazelnut, cashew, sesame, carrot, and vetiver. And it's a really interesting fragrance. It's very aromatic, and you get those nuts, you get those kind of nutty notes, but and then it's got that punchy ginger. So it's like this juicy, nutty, really interesting, super unique fragrance. I think it's gender neutral. It's probably best for spring, but I really think you could wear this year round. It's just super unique. Nobody's gonna smell like you if you're wearing this. It's like one of a kind. And I really want a full bottle. <laughs> so I love the bottle design. I think they're gorgeous. I've done a whole YouTube video where I talked about an Anima Vinci discovery set. So I went through fragrances and I've recently talked about Tudo Azul. I'm Well, I randomly selected a really interesting one today. So this is from Etali Redorange, which is a niche house from France. And this is called Attaque Le Soleil Marquis de Sade. And so it's inspired by the Marquis de Sade. And it came out in 2016 from the nose of Quentin Biche. And the note that I could find on it is labdanum. So labdanum is a type of resin. It comes from the European rock rose. So it's a this is a woody, leathery, spicy fragrance. I really couldn't find much more information on the note structure. It strikes me as very gender neutral. It's peppery, it's spicy, it's rich. I think this would do really well in cold weather like fall and winter. It's beautiful and interesting. It's not for um, someone who likes light, easy breezy fragrances. This is for your more dark and daring types, but I really like it. randomly selected creamy vanilla crumble which is a beautiful perfume from the house of 4160 Tuesdays London and this came out in 2018 it's from the nose of Sarah McCartney and it's a beautiful amber vanilla fragrance with notes of custard whipped cream malt vanilla tobacco hay and musk so it's a beautiful gourmand. It's really rich and delicious and sweet, but it's got those earthy components that it gets from the hay and the malt. So it gives it this really unique, so it's not completely edible, but it's an incredibly unique and gorgeous warm fragrance that I think is perfect for fall and winter. I really love the House of 4160 Tuesdays. I have a couple full bottles. It's a British niche house and they have really unique, beautiful fragrances. So I would recommend this one. It's beautiful.
today I randomly selected Sparkling Blush from Michael Kors as my random sample of the day. And this has notes of lychee, pear, pink pepper, bergamot, magnolia, lily, other white florals, amber, vanilla, sandalwood. And it's a really pretty fragrance. It came out in 2018. And I think it's really nice. It's it's considered an amber floral. It's very bright and fruity and floral. You get the pink pepper, so it's got a little bit of an edge to it. This is nothing like super groundbreaking or unique, but I think it's very pleasant. I'm really getting a good first impression. This is a strong like, but not a love. And I would love to hear if you've tried this one, what are your thoughts on it? I think it's really nice and it reminds me of some other stuff I've smelled, but I really do like it and would love to hear your thoughts on it if you've tried it. Thanks for being here again. I'll see you soon. Today I'm sharing my cosmetic company store haul with you. The first thing I got is this DKNY Women Perfume Large Size Special Edition Pack. Three Max Fix Plus Mini. Becca Full Size Shimmering Skin Perfect. Two Travel Size Aveda Hair. This stuff was less than $60 and I got a free Today I've got a really fun K-Beauty haul for you from YesStyle. This is all stuff I bought on YesStyle. This first one is from Nature Republic and this is called Propolis Glossy Skin Good Skin Cream. I haven't tried this one before but it sounds great. Next from Beauty of Josan, this is the Ginseng Essence Water. Another one I haven't tried before but I love a good essence so I'm really looking forward to trying this. Next from Vanilla, this is called the Miss Flower and Mr. Honey Propolis Rejuvenating Lotion, which is supposed to be a glowy, hydrating lotion, which I'm really excited to try. Next from New Lee, this is the Sika 100 Soothing Ampule. Ampules are somewhat similar to serums. They're treatments intended to hydrate. This is a repurchase for me. This is from Beauty of Josan, and this is the Glow Serum with Propolis and Niacinamide. I really love this. I just wish it came in a bigger size. This is another repurchase. This is from iUnique, and this is the Black Snail Restore Serum. I love a good hydrating serum. From Beauty of Josan, this is Dynasty Cream. I just wanted to try this because I really like this brand, and I thought this cream sounded really interesting and good. Also from Beauty of Josan, this is the Apricot Blossom Peeling Gel. Obviously, I just love this brand, so I'm trying as much as I can from the brand, and this one sounded good. From Pyun Kan Yol, this is the ATO Cream Blue Label Lotion. And this is another moisturizer that I'm trying for the first. From Beauty of Josan, I picked up two of the Centella Asiatica Calming Masks because I love a good hydrating mask. And again, I love this brand. I got a free sample of Matcha Hydrating Foam Cleanser, which I'm looking forward to trying. And finally, this is a sample from Pestlo. This is the Panthenol and Ceramide Hydrating Cream, another free sample that I'll try. So that is my Yes Style haul of K-Beauty products. I would love to hear about your favorite K-Beauty products down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite are because I'm always up for trying new ones. Thanks for being here. Today I'm sharing my thoughts and first impressions on a perfume called Honorable Mention from the company Sniff, and that's Sniff with one F, and their perfumes are sold online, they're vegan and cruelty free, a one ounce bottle costs $65, it comes in a box like this with a sample, so it's intended that you try the sample and if you don't like it, you can send the perfume back, so it's intended to be risk free it comes with a box and a prepaid shipping label so if you don't like it you can just put it in that box and send it right back and so this is the perfume again it's a one ounce bottle and this particular perfume has notes of peach pepper jasmine tea lily of the valley orange blossom cypress and vetiver so to me it smells like a citrus aromatic fragrance and I think it's really nice. I sprayed it on about a half hour ago and I can still smell it. So that's pretty good for a citrus because citrus fragrances have notoriously poor longevity. So this seems to have okay longevity so far, but this is, like I said, my first impression. So the bottle looks like this. So it's kind of a cute bottle and it's kind of hard to come <laughs> to get the cap off. So I won't do that, but I did, like I said, spray the sample and I do like it. It reminds me a lot of Hermes Jardin sur le Nil, which I do have. So, so I sprayed Jardin sur le Nil on this arm, and then I've got honorable mention on this arm. And they smell pretty similar, although I think 
honorable mention is sweeter. So Hermes has a little bit more um, herbs and spices to it, I believe. So they're both really nice perfumes. And again, this is $65 for a one ounce bottle. And this one, I just looked on FragranceNet. They're currently selling it for under $60 for a 1.6 ounce bottle. So it's actually a better deal to get the Hermes right now. But if cruelty free and or vegan are priorities for you, this may be a better option. So um, again, I can't really comment on the longevity. I can comment on the longevity on my Hermes because I have worn this and I get about three to four hours. So it's kind of average to poor longevity because again, citruses don't usually get the best longevity. But this I think is kind of a cool idea. I like this concept. I know Dossier does this too, where you can send it back if you don't like it and they include all the packaging for you to do that. But my first impression is good. I really do like this fragrance and so I'm kind of interested. Have you tried anything from Sniff? I would love to hear your experiences and your thoughts and suggestions down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon. Today I have a quick review for you of Juliet Has a Gun's Pear Ink, which came out in 2021, and it has notes of pear, ambroxan, musk, and ambretolide, which is kind of like an ambery musk. So it is indeed a very musky fragrance. I don't get a lot of pear, so I also don't get a lot of longevity. So I've only had this on for about two hours, and it's very much faded, and it actually reminds me, and this is from my daughter who noticed that it smells like Glossier U. So I hadn't thought about that, but I agree with her. This really does give you that Glossier U musky vibe. So if you like Glossier U, you might like this one. Juliet Has a Gun has another similar uh, perfume to Glossier U, and that's called Not a Perfume. I am not a real big fan of this pear ink, but I would love to know your thoughts. Have you tried this, and what did you think? Let me know. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Today I randomly selected Un Jardin sur la Lagune from Hermes and this came out in 2019. It's from the nose of Christine Nagel and it's an amber floral that has notes of sea notes, magnolia, woody notes, lily, and Pitosporum, which is kind of a heady white floral similar to Jasmine. And so this is a very beautiful, beautiful floral and it definitely is a very sweet white floral and you get that kind of headiness and almost indolic, but not quite there, I would say. This is not probably for everyone. You definitely get the Magnolia. So if you love Magnolia, you will probably love this. It reminds me a little bit of Magnolia from Commodity and it's really beautiful. Again, pretty sweet. You get a slight sea breezy kind of oceanic vibe, but it's very subtle. It's a beautiful fragrance, and I have a different one from this line. Today, I'd like to share with you a potential alternative to a discontinued hard to find fragrance. The discontinued hard to find fragrance is Deseo from Jennifer Lopez, and the potential alternative is Salt from Ellis Brooklyn. So I think they're very similar. They actually don't have a lot of note crossover, and Salt is definitely more salty. Deseo seems to be a little bit more sweet and more soapy, but they will both give you a beautiful ocean, salty, sunscreeny, beautiful, gorgeous summer vibes with an oceanic spin. And I really like both of them, but it seems like Deseo is a little overpriced because it is so hard to find now. And salt is pretty easily found at Ulta or Sephora. You can get this travel size for like $30 and you can get the full size for around a hundred. So if you're looking for something like Deseo, I think look no further than salt. Like I said, very similar, not a lot of note crossover, but to me, they smell very similar. So I hope you're having a great summer and Today I'm doing a quick unboxing for you. So I just got these two in today and these are both from Gallagher Fragrances, which is an American niche house. And they're having a 15% off sale, which ends today, June 7th. So I'm not sponsor, but I just, I'm so excited to have these. I literally ordered these two days ago. So they are getting rid of their 30 mil size, their one ounce sizes. So they won't have that option anymore. And I really like the 30 mil size. So 
not doing a very good job unboxing here, but we have to go with it because this is rosé all day. It's beautiful. The notes are apple crisp, plum, dark rose, brown sugar, tonka bean, and stainless steel. The other one is fine apple, and it's got magnolia, green apple, pineapple, jasmine, dry wood, musk, and brett. They're both beautiful fragrances. Check out my YouTube where I talked about Gallagher at more length. I reviewed a whole discovery set. I really love the house. I'm so excited to have these. That's it for today. Thanks. Today I wanted to share with you my thoughts on the latest flanker from Aqua de Joya from Armani. This is called Terra de Joya and it just came out this year. It's from the noses of Honorine Blanc, Fabrice Pellegrin, and Natalie Lorson. It's considered an amber floral and it's got notes of pear, mandarin orange, bergamot, almond blossom, jasmine, amber wood. And it's really pretty. It's a beautiful floral. It's got, you know, the fruits come through so you get that floral vibe. It's a slight amber, but there's not a lot of amber in this. It's not very earthy as I would have expected from the name Terra de Joya. I've tested this a few times. It doesn't have the best longevity. I get about four hours from it, but I think it's really pretty. I do have a whole video on YouTube on the Aqua de Joya line. So that was before I got this one. So I will share with you my thoughts on all the other ones in this line. I really do like this line a lot. This one is good, but I wouldn't say great. So I'm going into my sample drawer to pick out my scent of the night. So I randomly selected Mansara Velvet Vanilla and this decant was given to me by my friend Lulu. Check her out on Instagram, Lulu467, also on YouTube. Thank you, this is beautiful. So this has notes of white florals, black currant, mandarin orange, it's got rose, vanilla, musk. It's really pretty. I think it might be better for fall, but I really like it. It's interesting. It seems like it would be long lasting. It's, it's definitely very powerful, but it's more about the floral and the fruit than the vanilla. Actually, the vanilla kind of takes a backseat in my opinion, but it's a floral fruity that came out in 2016 from the nose of Pierre Montal and I really like it. I think the bottle is beautiful. I love that pink. So thank you again to Lulu. Be sure to check her out on Instagram and TikTok. And So I was tagged to talk about perfumes that I've used up and repurchased. So it's been a long time since that's happened, but there have been a few. YSL Paris was the first perfume that I bought that's more on the high end slash designer. It's a powerhouse 80s perfume. It came out in 1983. Super strong floral, think shoulder pads, big hair, etc. Prescriptus Calyx also came out in the 80s and it's a super fruity fruit bomb. It's got like super bright and juicy fruits. It's powerful. It's just, I went through bottles of that one too. Eternity from Calvin Klein came out in the late 80s and I went through bottles of that one too. It's got a strong carnation note and it is definitely a strong 80s fragrance slash early 90s. Lastly, MV3 from MAC is sadly discontinued, but that's one that I went through bottles of in the early 2000s. It's a spicy vanilla and it's really pretty. And thanks to Annie Reviews who tagged me on YouTube. Time for some random sampling. Woo so today I randomly selected Ruhi from Okcha and Okcha is a dupe house. And so Ruhi is their interpretation of Santal 33 from Lolabo. So this has notes of cardamom, iris, violet, sandalwood, cedar, papyrus, ambrox, leather, and musk. And it's really pretty. I haven't actually smelled Santal 33, but I do like this fragrance and I think it's a gorgeous interpretation. It's very woody and rich and I think it's actually really beautiful. So you get the florals coming through, you get lots of wood and it's really quite nice and I think gender neutral. So and it's, I think it's $40 for a one ounce bottle. So not a bad deal. If you wanna see my whole review of the discovery set from Okcha, go to my YouTube channel and type Okcha on my homepage in the search bar.
Today I'm sharing a little declutter with you. So I don't do declutter videos so much on my YouTube channel anymore, but I do get rid of stuff now and then. So I thought I'd share what I'm getting rid of. And these are all going to a subscriber slash friend. And I thought I'd share with you what I'm getting rid of. So I'm getting rid of Ed Hardy Hearts and Daggers. I just talked about this on YouTube recently. Rihanna Rebel Fleur Love Always. I really do like this. It's my backup. I don't really need backups anymore. Florence and Casablanca from Swiss Arabian. I've got some Elizabeth Arden Green Teas here. Angel Eau de Toilette from 2019. One of my favorites, but this is a backup. This is Paco Rabanne Pure Excess. This is Romance from Ralph Lauren. Accidentally ordered the wrong one on Mercari. I've got Viva La Juicy Noir, Juicy Couture, um, We Glow. This is Rasasi Jasmine Wisp, Ralph from Ralph Lauren. And I think that's about it. So. Um, check out my YouTube channel for more information on any of these fragrances because I do talk about them on YouTube. Okay, I'm hitting the perfume sample drawer. Today I randomly selected Mother Nature's Naughty Daughters and this is from the house of 4160 Tuesdays, which is a British niche house. This came out in 2018. It's a sheep fruity from that nose of Sarah McCartney and this has notes of malt, black currant, pear, rose, praline, strawberry, ambergris, broom, Papanox and a few other notes. It's a really interesting fragrance. I really enjoy the House of 4160 Tuesdays. They have interesting and beautiful fragrances and this one's no exception. I think this one is very fall friendly or really perfect for autumn because it's kind of warm and enveloping. It's you get those fruity notes and then you get those underlying kind of slight animalic but very beautiful and warm. I think there's an oak moss note in this as well. So my first impression is very good. Again, it's Mother Nature's Naughty Daughters. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about Nina Ricci's Bella. So this is a perfume that came out in 2018. The noses behind this perfume are Louise Turner and Sonia Constant. And this is a very pretty floral fruity and it's got notes of rhubarb, green mandarin, freesia, white musk and vanilla and a couple other notes. It's very pretty. I think the bottle is extremely adorable. It's got like a little bee right here. So it's a very cute bottle. It's currently on FragranceNet for $36 for a 2.7 ounce tester, which is a very good deal. That was the best price I was able to find. My thoughts on this one are it's very pleasant. It's got decent lasting power. So I'm getting like five, six hours from it, which is kind of surprising because for some reason I wasn't expecting to get great longevity from it, but I really like it, but it's not a love. I would say it's pretty, it's really nice, but it's a little bit of a basic floral fruity to me. And that's only because I've tried a lot of different things. So I might be a little more picky than a lot of people, but it's pretty. Today I randomly selected Sweven from Okcha, and this is a clone for Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francis Kirkchan. This has notes of jasmine, saffron, orange, marigold, ambergris, and other notes. So it does, it does smell a lot like Baccarat Rouge 540 to me, but um, I think there are actually better clones than this one. So this is currently $40 on the Okcha website. And I think it's a decent perfume and that $40 is for a 30 mil one ounce size. So this is good. And I actually have a full review of Okcha on my YouTube channel if you're interested in seeing my first impressions of approximately eight Okcha dupe fragrances. I think this is good, but I actually like Amber Oud Rouge from El Haramain a little better. So that one is around $60 for a two ounce bottle. And I just think it's a little bit of a smoother composition. I really like Amber Oud Rouge. And just for comparison purposes, Baccarat Rouge 540 is currently around $375 for a 2.5 ounce bottle on FragranceNet. And another comparable fragrance is Ariana Grande Cloud, which you can get around $50 for a 3.4 ounce on FragranceNet. And although Ariana Grande Cloud, I don't consider that a clone for Baccarat Rouge 540, it is similar enough. It gives you that kind of vibe. I actually like it better in some ways. It's sweeter. It's, it's a beautiful fragrance and it's very, very inexpensive for the quality I think you're getting. And it's got good longevity. I like Baccarat Rouge 540. I think it's beautiful, but I think it's 
way overpriced personally. Um, this Okja clone I think is good, but I think there are better alternatives out there. And like I said, I really like Amber Oud Rouge from Al Haramein. That's my personal favorite if I'm looking for a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. But I also love Ariana Grande Cloud, like I said. So anyway, what is your favorite Baccarat Rouge 540 style fragrance? I would love to hear that down in the comments. Have you tried anything from Okja? Overall, I think the Okja fragrances are really good. And again, check out my YouTube on the Okja fragrances and if you want more information on them. So thank you for being here and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Today I'm really excited to share with you some of my favorite men's fragrances. So although I do choose to wear some of these, these are from my husband's collection. The first one is from Lolita Olympica. This is called Green Lover and it's got notes of green mandarin, pepper, mint, gin, juniper berries, musk, and it's really pretty. It's Next is Narciso Rodriguez for him Bleu Noir. This has notes of cardamom, nutmeg, musk, cedar, and vetiver. It's so, so pretty. It's very refreshing and aromatic. It's a really beautiful fragrance. Next, we've got the 2017 version of CK1. This has notes of pepper, lime, cucumber. It's got some really interesting notes. It's also got saffron and guyac wood. It's very aromatic and citrusy. It's really beautiful and refreshing, and I like to wear this one. Gucci Guilty Absolute is one of my favorites. It's got leather, vetiver, patchouli, and it's so deep and rich. It's also got cypress. It's a very incredibly rich and smoky fragrance. And this one is super potent and very beautiful. I love this one on myself. Guerlain Ideal Cologne is a fabulous one for everyone. This one has citrus notes. It's also got almond, neroli, vetiver, and musk. It's a fabulous fragrance for everyone. If you can still find this one, I recommend it very strongly. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous, especially in... This is Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Beau from 2019, and this has notes of coconut, bergamot, and tonka beans. Don't let the simplicity of that note profile fool you. This one is gorgeous. I love this one on myself and my husband. It's fabulous, and it's not very badly priced, so I highly recommend it. Le Beau. John Barbatos Vintage is a gorgeously complex fragrance. It's a woody sheep that has rhubarb quince in the top. It's got tobacco in the base and many other beautiful notes. This is sweet and delicious, warm, inviting, and you really can't go wrong with this fragrance. It's a people. Mercedes-Benz Club Black is another stunner. This is an amber fragrance that has notes of bergamot, incense, jasmine, and some other notes like ambroxan. It's just a fabulous, rich, beautiful. It's got resins in the base. This one is gorgeous on everyone. Versace Eros is a beautiful fragrance that anyone can wear. It's got notes of lemon and mint and geranium among others. It's aromatic. It's really refreshing and beautiful. And I really love this one too. So I hope you enjoyed my list of men's fragrances. I really love these and there are so many more I could talk about. I would love to hear about your favorites down in the comments. Thank you so much for being here today and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Again, be sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And of course, subscribe to me here on YouTube. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate your love and support. It means the world to me. And I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.